Hi, Ed. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a whole list of questions for you, so <laughs> let's get started. Yeah. When did you first encounter the 949? The first time with a 949, uh, when we built, I was one of the original, I was a member of the original team of a power station when we first started building the place. The only piece of gear that I really requested was, you know, a harmonizer 949. And so the first project that we worked on uh, was mixing uh, the Ramones Rocka to Russia record. The only thing in the rack was uh, a 949. And in mixing, I used it, you know, same purpose. I never used it on Johnny's guitars, but on vocals, I used it to emulate double tracking and effects. Mm -hmm. And you can especially hear it on the song Surfing Bird, going down in pitch. Surfing Bird. And, uh, you know, I remember doing it manually as the tape was rolling and recording it onto another track. I mean, I just think it's so amazing that that was the only piece of outboard gear that you, you used on that album. Do you think, like, how how different would it have been had you not had the 949? That's, it's what we had, you know? That was it, girl. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> that was that it. sounds we, great. <laughs> made the best of it. I, I, that's kind of my favorite record. It's... Um, it's truly very powerful. It's all about Ramones. You know, 87, um, I got a, a great gig. Jagger wanted to do two weeks in Barbados. Jerry Hall gets busted for weed and we end up being down there like two months. Jeff Beck came down, did a lot of guitar overdubs. Jeff's guitar was like tuned sharp. And I think we both kind of came up with the idea somehow of you know putting it in a, har in a, in a harmonizer in a 949 and changing bringing the pitch down but it was out of sync because there was a slight delay and i noticed that because of the slight movement of the 949 it would go in and out and i was listening in stereo it was still like a little off but it was doing this crazy flan you know back and forth effect so what started out as some pitch correction turned yeah. into an amazing flange effect. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's like the stereo flange effect. You don't have to turn the reels and, you know, it was, it, it really sounds cool. I have used, I used that effect on every damn record I made back then on solos, on vocals. And, uh, you know, I probably use it on almost every mix somehow, very slightly. I'm not big for, you know, having effects really in your face. They're just, what was that? You know, that sounds cool. Why does it sound like that? You know, instead of just a normal vocal or a normal effect. And he was working on experimental music. And so Brian came up with this idea. He just wanted to do like one note on a piano, not a piano, I'm sorry, it was a, a B3. And he went out there with Ramona and says, just pull this stop, hold one note and pull another stop and watch me for guidance when to do it. And Ed, let's try something. Let's try taking the signal and going through a 949 and then looping it with a delay. I'm there, really? And he said, yeah, and tune it down. So I tune it down. So here goes the, the B3 and the stop and it goes. Eh, 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 eh. And I'm there, whoa, <laughs> that, what, a, what a genius play. I had never thought to do anything like that. Um, and so that's the genius of Brian Eno. Well, I, have, I haven't used another. <laughs> I'm not that much of a technical guy. I'm, I'm really organic. I'm an organic knob twirler. And I, I just always gone to nine, four, you know, to Eventide for all this stuff. What are some of your all-time favorite uses for the 949. I always had, you know, when I was working analog, mixing on SSLs, I always had a pair of 949s in, the, in you know, off a of stereo send with the returns coming up on a pair of faders. And I, in Pro Tools, I, it's in my template and it's still there, the old plug-in, ye old plug-in. It's a delightful piece of equipment. And uh, I've been a fan since 1974. With, of Eventide. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that was 
I'm glad I could talk about all my uh, eventide experiences.